Hi there, this is Michelle V. Hill with the University of Wyoming Extension, Michelle's Money Minutes. Uh, today I'm gonna to be doing Paying Off Debt, Part Two, Debt Relief Services. If you're struggling with significant credit card debt or can't work out a repayment plan with your creditors on your own, you may wanna consider contacting a debt relief service like credit counseling or debt settlement. Depending on the type of service, you may get advice on how to deal with your mounting bills or create a plan for repaying your creditors. Before you do any business with any debt relief service, check out um, your, uh, your local state attorney general and your local consumer protection agency. They can tell you whether or not any consumer complaints are on file about the firm that you're considering doing business with. Um, you wanna watch for scams because if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, there's five, uh, approximately five different debt relief services. The first one is credit counseling, and, I'll, and there's five of them, so, and there's debt management plans, debt settlement programs, debt consolidation, and then bankruptcy, ways to deal with your debt. With credit counseling, Reputable credit counseling organizations can advise you on managing your money and debts, help you develop a budget, offer free educational materials and workshops. Their counselors are certified and trained in consumer credit management and debt, money and debt management and budgeting. Counselors discuss your entire financial situation and help you develop a personalized uh, strategy to solve your money problems. So that's credit counseling. Then there is the debt management plans. If, your fin if financial problems stem too much from too much debt or your inability to pay, repay your debts, a credit counseling agency may recommend that you enroll in a debt uh, management plan. And a debt management plan alone is not credit counseling and they're not for everyone. In the debt management plan, you deposit uh, money each month with the credit counseling organization. It uses your deposits to pay your unsecured debts, like your credit card bills, student loans, and medical bills, according to your payment schedule. And the, um, the counselor develops with you and your creditors. And so you would have to, they would, together you would figure that out. Then there is debt settlement programs. A debt settlement program typ uh, typically is offered for uh, by for-profit companies and involve them negotiating with your credit creditors to allow you to pay a settlement to to resolve your debt. It's a lump sum that is less than the full amount that you owe. So they negotiate that. And with credit counseling too, a lot of times they're nonprofit. Um, not always, but they a lot of times they are. Then there's debt consolidation. You may be able to lower your cost of credit by consolidating your debt through a second mortgage or a home equity line of credit. But these loans require you to put up your home as collateral. If you can't make the payments or if your payments are late, you could use your, lose your home. So a lot of that stuff you have to be very cautious depending upon your own individual circumstances as to how you will proceed on that. And then there is the fifth option, which is bankruptcy. And there's two types of um, bankruptcy. And bankruptcy is, um, it's an option, but the consequences are long lasting and far reaching. So uh, there's the two types of personal bankruptcy, chapter 13 and chapter seven. I don't have time to go into those right now, but if you are struggling with debt, it's very important to go ahead and um, be realistic with yourself about it and start to make a plan, whether it be your individual plan or with someone else. Um, it's better to get started and to deal with it um, now than later. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Michelle's Money Minutes and please like and, sh like and share it. Thank you so much for joining me.